Which you guys got another video here for you on Chris PC DNS switch. It's an awesome little program that allows you to quickly change the DNS on your computer. Now the good thing about this is if you're using a computer that's being used by the whole family, you can quickly change the DNS to suit your needs. Now for instance, if you've got young children and you want to use a family safe DNS, this is going to keep your family safe from looking at nasty stuff that's on the internet like porn and stuff like that that you might not want your young kids to see. Okay, so that's a good way of protecting them. Now also, you've got some more secure DNS servers which you can use which are going to keep you safe from malware and other types of infections and things like that. Okay, now there's also the anonymous type side of DNS which allows you to use that feature so you can surf anonymously on uh, on the internet as such okay so let's have a look at the actual program as long as you're not using this in a commercial way you'll be fine to use it because it's for non-commercial use so I'm going to quickly uh, fire this program up so here we're going to start off at the top here your DNS settings now by by default you would normally have to set this up manually okay but the program allows you to do all this for you so if you look here this is the manual way of doing things it would take a fair bit of time to go into here and quickly change this manually yourself but as you can see it's by default um, your ISP will give you uh, their own DNS to use but that's not always the best choice so sometimes using different DNS's makes it much more better and faster to surf the internet and also safer so let's have a look at the uh, drop down menu here you can see there's only one network adapter here which is the network card now if you've got a wireless adapter and stuff like that they will be listed inside this drop down menu okay but as you can see there's only one here at the moment and this will be to get to your uh, display network uh, settings you've got your refresh button here and you can see this is what the, we're using at the moment it's uh, preferred to automatic and this means we're using the ISP's uh, DNS now you can restore this back to default settings by clicking on this button and we've also got a drop down tab which allows you to change uh, the network the current network adapter or all network adapters okay now depending which one you want to change so if you wanted to drop down menu and restore that back for that particular network adapter you can do that okay okay in the next section this is the bit where we can choose our DNS okay very quickly we can choose something and there's a big pile of them in there and it can be quite confusing to some people so on the right hand side here we have a, a nice little category which you can set set it up to like regular DNS secure DNS family safe DNS anonymous DNS and custom DNS custom DNS is going to allow you to add in your own custom types of uh, DNS's okay so for instance let's just go for say open DNS home all we need to do is select that from the drop down menu and click on change and click yes to confirm those settings and you can see automatically it's been changed and I haven't had to do anything apart from click on this uh, button here and if I show you the actual network settings here you'll see that it's all been changed up for me okay a very very simple and very quick to do now as I said the the beauty of this program is if you've got a lot of different people using a computer you can quickly change this so for instance if you're using this now yourself and now the children want to get on the computer where well, you can quite easily get onto secure and you can say uh, pick a Komodo or for instance if you wanted a young children you didn't want uh, to see anything you could click on this and change this up as quick as that and it's done and you can walk away from it okay it's very very simple and easy to do so that's that sort of setup there let's have a look at the uh, DNS database uh, tab here once you get in here you can see there's a big long list of uh, DNS servers here and you can do the same thing here you can set them up to how you want so you can see what's there okay uh, the secure ones are going to keep you safe on the internet you can see Komodo and Norton have got their versions here and that, that's going to be a secure type thing and also you've got your anonymous and you've also got your custom this is going to allow you to add in your own DNS inside here okay you just click on add and add them in and you can delete and edit them okay the program tab here which is pretty self-explanatory if you want to boot this up on Windows startup you just put a tick in this pretty simple got your language here which you want to set it up as you've got your bit about the actual creator of the program which is all the information here and it's free for non-commercial use as you can see again we've got um, 
the visit the website and also like them on their Facebook page. And that is pretty much it really. You can quickly make changes to this and get this back to default settings um, by clicking on uh, restore here. If you wanted to restore this back, you could, uh, for all network adapters, you can restore this back to um, default settings as you can see here and everything should be back up and running back to default settings if you want to do that okay so the options are there to make big changes to your dns at a click of a button and keep the whole family safe okay now when you close this off you will get a little pop-up box here which has got a little advert in there and that's about it really and you can see it's saying for the version to be used for non-commercial use but as soon as you close it off it's gone okay so anyway, a great little program. I think it's an awesome little go. Have a little play with it and see what you think. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Hit the like button, guys, uh, on the video. That really does help me, okay? My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy the videos, then hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos, okay? And I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your support. Bye for now.